Greek. Relationships should be fun and exciting, but sometimes they can be tough. Resolving conflict and different wants and needs is part of having healthy relationships with friends, family, significant others, and co-workers. Some relationships are confusing, and it's hard to know if a relationship is healthy. A lot of it boils down to good communication and whether you can be your true self in the relationship Meet Kyle and Ashley. They just started dating and go to the same school. Everything started off great at first, but after a few weeks, Kyle started to get angry and mean when Ashley would talk to her friends. Kyle would take Ashley's phone to look through it and get jealous when she spent time with anyone but Kyle. Ashley feels trapped because they have the same friend group and she doesn't want to lose her friends. She got so upset that the school counselor pulled her aside one day to talk about what's been going on. She realized that their relationship was not healthy and she needed to make some changes. You might be unsure if a person is good for you. Trust your gut. If they speak to you in a disrespectful way, make you feel inferior, blame you for things that aren't your fault, or physically or sexually hurt or harass you, that person is not good for you. It is okay to say no to people and distance yourself from them. Sometimes this may be hard if that person is a family member or someone you might see regularly. Talking to a trusted adult or counselor can help you create healthy boundaries and keep you safe. Healthy relationships should feel good for both people. You can only control your own behavior and you are not responsible for other people's potentially bad behavior. Healthy relationships involve people who support and encourage each other to be healthy and grow. If you are part of a relationship that does not fit this, you may want to reevaluate whether you want to be a part of it. You can talk to a trusted adult or counselor to help you do this.
pobres. People have to communicate, but they also have to have boundaries. When you truly care, you're caring, and um, your heart is just like with the other person. Two people who have a great connection, who has the, around the same values or different values that they are respectful towards. I would say they're comfortable with each other and they let each other know that. They're also like supportive of each other and being like thoughtful, so. They have to be understanding, you know, like uh, ask questions, but definitely try to see the other person as a person and not just like an instrument to use. <laughs> Treats them with respect. I feel like that's like the number one trait that you should have in a relationship. I would want to know when they thought about me and stuff feels safe to talk to me and also like wants to know about my day and cares about how I'm feeling and that like we're laughing together but also like we can be very serious together. I think my parents have a healthy relationship even though they sometimes get mad at each other and get things out of their systems. They're still like supportive and they still compromise and do a lot of things for each other. My brother and his girlfriend are a very good relationship because they spend time with each other and value each other very much. Can I say mine? Of course. Yeah. Um, well, my boyfriend treats me super well, and I am so appreciative and grateful. How long have you all been together? Um, ten months. Yeah. So we're approaching that year mark. I know it's crazy. Thank you. Yeah.